it's time for Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. of patrons who have contributed a lifetime of $100 or more to reach Garoop Dong level status. Here is the list of those special patrons in order of contributions. If you would like to support our show, check out the Commander Smiths at Patreon.com. Welcome to the Commander Smiths. We are the Commander Smiths. I'm Adam Smith. And I'm Lowry Smith. Don't worry. We're cousins. Hey, it's that time. Shh. It's a secret. The crazy thing here is, I don't know if you saw that Renshai in the... Oh, no, you didn't see it. Renshai just said that the Rov, Rovina Kai one is already sold out. So this is going to be interesting. We're going to get right to this, guys. I'm so, glad I got to that. Then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let me get us over there really quick because uh, we're going to be talking about the latest secret layer here. Uh, and as of <laughs> in the last few minutes, because it was there a little bit ago, uh, one of the secret layers was already sold out. So we did do the uh, secret layer draw or uh, what uh, preview of the fallout ones on was right that? the three fallouts. Yeah. We did that. Thursday? last thursday afternoon yeah so got that out as soon as we could yeah so then we just had this big drop today it's the equinox 2024 super drop that isn't really on the equinox it's on the solar eclipse on the uh, eclipse nox yeah. <laughs> so uh we're gonna get right to this because uh i guess the, the hard part here is I was going to say we're going to do the, you know, the is it worth it, you know, it's time kind of thing for. that we do. It it? Let me but work it. there's I'm already one gone. It. So this is going to be interesting how we're going to do this. I don't know if we even, yeah. we don't even, do we talk about those? I mean, we could, we'll talk about them, but. I mean, I think we can mention them because the non-foils are available. Oh, that is a very good point. Very good point. Okay. So, okay. and I think Justin here has a really good point. Like it's such a weird thing. One sells out and the bundle no longer available. Like, does that mean that they print out X amount and then whatever bundles go, they steal from the singles and like they, there's only 15 to 20,000 I think roughly sold right. and then they're just taking from that wherever they go. I think so. But the thing that's, I mean, it has to be the case. So and and I, I, I that does seem weird. Kind of speculate. As you can see here, we have a noble, a, a noble hierarch is the bonus for the bundles, the big bundles. So we got the big. <laughs> Oh, like the big, big bundle? Big, big bundle, which no longer is there. Uh, actually, both yeah. bundles are gone because of that, because it knocked out both of them. So it was the foil one that got hit here. Let's just actually scroll down and kind of take a look at that. So the one that got knocked out. Yeah. Sorry, it's way down there. Uh, eh. Oh. Oh, no longer available. So yeah, there's, there's where we're seeing all these already gone. So the... Mm -hmm. This guy got knocked out, which actually knocks out this bundle, this bundle, and the big, big bundle. So it knocked out the two. Wow. Yeah. So that, so we can't even do the breakdown of that, but we're going to kind of break down the rest of the stuff that's there. We will talk about those as well. So if you did get mm -hmm. a hold of it to see uh, pricing-wise, you can kind of go through that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the cards that are in each one of these drops. At the end of each one of the drops, uh, we'll both decide if we think it's worth it. Or if we the think if wrong. we think the price is wrong, if we don't think it's worth it, yeah. uh, and uh, then we kind of go from there. So uh, this one, I, I'm just gonna say from the beginning, this was a mediocre drop for me, and it, I'm actually very surprised that we have one that's already sold out. Um, also, that, no, go ahead. I mean, the foil, I I saw those, and I was like, the foil's going to look look really gorgeous. Good. Yes, and I I'm very certain of it, and when I. I got an email. You didn't because you purchased yours like if you split, right? right? Yeah, I got. And so I was like, I got, I got a couple days, right? Like these aren't <laughs> amazing. Well, yeah, the last one, alert. the last one took like uh, what uh, four or five days before one of them sold yeah. out. So and I like those a lot better, right? And so it was a better drop. Um, but then when I saw that email and I was like, well, I'm gonna go get the the ones that I definitely know that I want and. 
I don't have to think about bundles at this point. Yeah. So yeah, that that's also Joel. I was going to get to that point is yeah. The only way that I think the ignoble hierarch is going to be very rare and might be way more expensive than a, you know I, I had it down as maybe a ten dollar card because you're kind of going off of the the other bonuses with the scorpion guide and all that. They're at about ten to twenty dollars. Well, like Noble Hierarch doesn't even like the best, the rarest printing or the best printing of that isn't even break ten dollars. So I was like, oh, maybe ten. With the fact of this selling out, if the non foil sells out in the next couple of days, that sucker is going to be way more expensive than I thought. It's going to be probably the rarest thing in this, you know, one of the most rare in this because you're only getting it in bundles. So, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Well, well, let's get to things. And the, and the chat here is discussing FOMO and how they're tr it might be trying to purposely stimulate. Right. Um, I, the FOMO and stuff like that. There, I, there could be that. I'm not going to fight against it. I but. will say that it was weird that you guys got the email that told you specifically which ones were almost sold out. I find that very odd because then like if, if, if it was, if it was me, I guess I, or if I was running it, you know, I'd be like, Hey, uh, there are a couple of these that are almost sold out so that people buy a bunch of them. But when you, tell people these are the ones Which that are ones? almost gone then people are just going to target it and then they're gone so like mm -hmm. they're, they're going to make sure they get whatever is potentially going to sell out right and, it's it happens all the time like with and eBay have it run and TCG. Real quick. if you own yep. a bunch of copies of a certain card and there's a couple copies still on the and on tcg or ebay you you know people go out and buy those up just so that yours now is the lowest copy so it just the buyout seems like it's almost like they forced a buyout there. So I, I, I don't know if I like that. I was saying in the mm. discord that I, I liked that They pointed out which ones were almost gone, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, no, I mean that, that really gets the speculators to jump in there and just snipe out the ones really quick. I don't know. That one feels that, weird. That's an interesting feels take on it me. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's get to this before another one sells out. So <laughs> we, <laughs> uh, like we mentioned before, we did do the fallout one. So you can check that out. There's nothing really that changed with that. We have a really good breakdown uh, and that will be linked onto this video as well, but we'll do a really quick uh, breakdown of those. Uh, I'll talk about the bundles at the end right. here. So let me. And just... If you want a, a further opinion on the Fallout ones, you can just go check out that video yep. that we did last week. Yeah. So, so. Uh, the first one, which we talked about again, why don't you get us through this one? Uh, Vault Boy, there's a foil, non foil edition, $30, $40 respectively. Four cards in the Vault Boy one. This is the one I got in foil. It's Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth. It is Sphere of Resistance. Uh, uh, Sorry. It is Trinisphere, and it is the Winter Orb. Yeah. And there's not a lot of foils of Winter Orb and Sphere of Resistance. If yeah. you know, just not a lot. So that's why I got this one personally, and I got this one, and then the foil Tarot one that was sold out. Yeah. So. So this one we had a value of uh, sixty dollars in non-foil, ninety-five dollars in foil. Uh, and that's all before fees and shipping and all that. So this one's actually has a break point of three. So this one, um, I believe we both did this because you also bought it. So we thought that one was worth it. This one was mm -hmm. all three of these. Actually, the fallout ones were pretty good in value wise in general. So uh, that is the first fallout one. The next one would be... Uh, the lands one, so points of yeah. Interest. So there's five lands, and oh, I did. I kind of did want to buy this one yeah, too. I just panicked. I panicked. <laughs> yeah, I it. gotta buy it. <laughs> yeah. So five in this one. Uh, you got Bajuka Bog. Um, Very nice card. In there. foil, non foil, yep. thirty forty dollars respectively. Command Beacon. You got five total in these ones. You got Fabled Passage, which is an all star in my book. Uh, Reflecting Pool. Yeah. Dang it, I missed this one. It's I, not I sold out wanted yet. to buy this yeah. one. Yeah, I'm not gonna do another order. And Reliquary Tower. Uh is so. that it? Reliquary, was there one more? Oh yeah, yeah that's it. Okay, yeah. so yeah, five of those bad boys. Uh, like you mentioned, four and five. This was one of the warning ones. This is the one that the email said uh was low on stock. So this one is very close to selling out at this point. Uh value-wise was 60 non-foils and 90 for the foils. So break point of three again. Uh, very good value in this one. We did get a couple of these already with Galaxy Foils. A, a few of these have been printed a couple times. Uh, but these are going to be kind of sweet. I, 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 this is the one that I 
when I got my stuff, and I'll break that down a little bit later, this is the one that I got more of than anything else. So I got I liked this okay. one the most. Uh, I thought this one had the best value, uh, and so I went with that. So, okay. Uh, and then let's get to the last Fallout one, and then we'll break down that bundle for the Fallout one at least, and then uh, jump into the next ones. <laughs> So this one yeah, is So then you special. have the special foil edition, and this one has seven cards in it. Uh, you have a lot of low-level ones, but Steel Shaper's Gift. You have, uh, let's see here, Propaganda. Again, the third, second, second secret layer second one. Secret. Elixir of Immortality, which is in seven total decks of Commander. <laughs> you have Council's Judgment. <laughs> Sorry. It's Decent a little more removal. than that. <laughs> uh, idyllic Tutor, nice little enchantment yeah. one. I yeah. appreciate that. Uh, you have Anger, and then uh, used light. to be an All Star for sure. Still yeah. highly used, I'm sure. And Lightning Bolt. Sorry, that's for the other video. I can't be doing you, these explanations. You're, you're, do, you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Lightning check Bolt. Out, if you want the bigger breakdown? Check out the other video. We go over yeah. the uh, the amount yeah. of EDH rec decks and all that stuff with them. So, uh, yeah. So this is a was it seven cards? You said. Um, yep. yeah, I, with seven cards, you'd think it'd be more than the other two, but it's actually, uh, less than the other two. So this one is $45 for non-foil and 75 for the foils. So a break point four. Um, so yeah, this one, but this one also has a low inventory warning. So this is a, the only two left that we got the, the low inventory warning on. Uh, the other one has been sold out from the, the one that we, um, uh, that we talked about earlier. Okay, so really quick, I do want to talk about the the bundles because I think that these actually do matter here because uh, this is personally what I did. Uh, the the foils of the fallouts, uh, Fallout ones, all those are $99. So you save $20 if you buy those uh, like mm -hmm. this. And I think that's totally worth it. I calculated it out. It's about 100 and I think it was $180 worth of value and you're spending 90 for that. So this is... Really yeah. good value there. And then if you do the non-foil, you save $15. And I believe that one was 80. Let me jump back to that quick. 75. So you, you 75, save 15 yeah. bucks uh, for getting that. So um, so I think the foil, the bundles here are something to actually take a look at. Because that's what I did. I went one big foil bundle for everything. And then I went a bunch on the foil bundle of the Fallout. And then went singles on the, the land one we talked about. So that's... That's kind of what I went with there. So, okay. Okay. So that's all the old stuff, and the new stuff was the bundles. So that that's kind of nice there. Let's uh, talk. Wrench is saying that Fallout's pretty popular, and that, that has been my understanding of it as well. And so, this will probably eventually sell out. Yeah. So okay. if you're thinking about it, think harder. I guess <laughs> think is faster. what I'm saying. Think faster. That's think why we're faster. That's stronger. actually kind of why we're doing this at the beginning of the podcast. Normally we save this. You know, we do our banter. You'll get the banter still. Don't worry. The, for the, uh, the hardcore listeners, uh, we have the banter coming after this. But we wanted to get right to this because things are going quick. So uh, let's get to the new stuff here. Oh man, the, I love how they spoiled this. Like the mm -hmm. the what is it dioramas of this? But uh, okay, diabolical dioramas. Grave <laughs> oil. Yeah. There's yeah, so you can watch the videos. The videos are sweet to see yeah. these, but these are like actual pictures instead of uh, they're like puppets in their yeah. own thing. And there's a yeah. video where they have ac actions in it. Yeah, and, like clay. Uh, I watched the thing. one. Oh, I watched all with three. you. I'm I didn't not watch. watch all. Yeah, <laughs> there's four of them, right? Yeah, but I didn't see the fourth one pop up, so it probably okay. is now with this. But yeah, I saw the all three right. of them. So, all so right. you got four in this one. They look really cool, but uh, and I think because it's more of like puppet animation style it probably the art won't be it's probably not stolen i'm guessing that's <laughs> guessing yeah. that i get yeah. uh, but the first one's gonna be grave breaker lamia lamia Ugh. Kid, can't even read what? Yeah. yeah i got it there we go um and this card is a really solid graveyard interaction card i really liked it in like Maldrotha, um but it's not worth a lot no no nope. and we'll we'll get to that in the breakdown yep. Um, but yeah, I, I don't hate it. Uh, next one, one, Aura Shards. This is the big, this is the big ticket one. Yeah. Um, and it looks really cool. And that's just whenever you have a creature coming to play, destroy a, an artifact or an enchantment. You and it use games. this card at like a D, D gen. You are a D gen using this card. I don't, I don't know about that. I've been, I've been brutally murdered by you with this card so many times, and it yeah. sucks. It's terrible. Nah. 
That's I awesome. like hearing it though. It's a nice compliment. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, Fiend Artisan. This um, one's also a big hitter on this one, and this one has two big hitters on. Yeah, yeah. I think this is this is one that I highly thought about buying as well. If I didn't just buy Fiend Artisan like back in the fall, I would have got this. Mm. Um, and the art looks really cool. Yeah. But plus one, plus one for each creature in your graveyard, and you get to go and search for something as well. So, yeah. yep, really you, sweet. You like to do that, the graveyard stuff, and then we got some I OG do. action with some older commanders here. Yeah. Carador, Ghost Chieftain. This was an old was first it, was it the, gen commander. Yeah, I was gonna say it was the was it the first or the second round of commander? First one. First yeah, one. Yeah, it was in the Gave Guru of Spores. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Deck. Uh, this one's not doesn't really have a lot of value with that, but um, nah. the, you got the two it, cards. You got your your aura shards, which actually only has the one foil printing, uh, and that's like a ninety dollar card. I did not put that at ninety for this, uh, but it could Probably get not. up there. Uh, but both of those, the Fiend Artisan and uh, the, not up to 90, but it could be higher than the 30 is where I put right. it. Uh, so you, you got your non-foils at 35. And again, this is kind of a, kind of a it, it interesting art. So it could be higher than that. Uh, but I'm going could off be. of the base pricing of everything. And then I do the, like that all the cards work together. They're Graveyard, yes. Synergist, yeah. Jetic. Like they all work under a Carador deck. I'm assuming... I don't know, maybe wrongly, but that this artist has this deck and is like, hey, I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to make like to all these, these cards. cards. Yeah. This is my commander, and these are the cards I like to use. These are my all-stars, yeah. yeah. That'd be dope. Uh, but yeah, the the foil version, $80, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, that's before fees again. Uh, when I say all this stuff, I, I, I said this in the Fallout ones, and whenever we do the secret layer stuff, the, the typical timeline, like when all these get out, which they're going to be sending these out, we should say that. It goes for 20 days. And then they are actually starting to send these out because uh, next week, because uh, they have changed things up quite a bit of how they do things. April nineteenth was it? Yeah, something like that. Uh, okay. No, sixteenth. It was the sixteenth. I remember 16th? thinking eight days later or right. whatever. Um, but this one has breakpoint three as well. So again, when I'm saying pricing, all these are going to arrive. The prices are going to drop. You can probably pick up singles that you maybe if you missed out on that one, you might. Although it sold out so quick, you might not get them as cheap as you like. Um, Probably, but uh, some of these other ones, you can get them cheap. And then it takes about 10 to 16 months for these to recover and start maturing. And then you, you get these prices I'm talking about. So $80, that's pretty good. You buy three of these and then you get one free. So, and then at that point you start getting stuff, uh, getting some things here. Okay. So, uh, do you think this one's worth it? Is it worth it? Or is this, uh, the price it is wrong? Probably was again, if they gave me a little bit more time to think about it, like I, I kind of wanted to. Yes. Aura Shards would, would be the big draw on yeah. this one. Yeah. I, I, you have two $30 cards in this, which is nice. I like that part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and, oh, we should mention uh, after we finish this, I do want to mention that the, I'll just say it right now, the Fallout ones do have, they already know what the, the bonuses are with the, those. We don't know what the bonuses are in these. But the Fallout ones have either Codex Shredder wastes or the uh mono vault is the, the rare drop on those so we, we mentioned that in our other video so i just wanted to mention that again um so yeah i think this one's worth it uh, especially the foil version of this i think it's a very unique yeah. uh cool art and the fact that you have videos of each one of these is kind of cool too in that aspect so uh i agree right. with you on that all right uh then we get into the next one we only have three of these three total yeah. oh this we're is already halfway done with this yeah and this, this one is the one that is sold out in the foil version so um, go ahead artist series rovina kai um so there was foil non-foil but now we're there's only non-foil foil at this point for 30 dollars. you have four cards in this one uh the first one is uh inala archmage yada yada but so you pay one whatever yeah. and a wizard you control comes into play you can pay one to copy it and you got to sack that one at the end of the turn i really like this art i think it, it's apparently tarot card style yeah um i stay away from that stuff so i don't actually know what it is like i don't want to be around a ouija board none of that stuff it's <laughs> goofy so um not for me but in all is really cool you got aether file which is top notch art right there mm -hmm. it looks a lot gorgeous yeah and i think like you said before Foils of these are going to look fantastic. Well, now, a way to make everybody feel like they missed That's that FOMO <laughs> shit right there. Uh, Arcane Signet also looks gorgeous. Yeah, um, this is a and good obviously, if you it. play it, you play it. 
if mm. you know you know um <laughs> And then the one of the, uh, this is the top dog of the bunch, I think. I don't. I mean, we have some. Well, for foils. <laughs> Sorry, uh, guys, sort of the animist. <laughs> keep going back to that. great card though. We use this a lot, and this goes in a lot of decks. It's we uh, we've had this as staple verses before. Uh, yeah, this is a great art on this as well. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so foils were you know it was a break point of four sixty six bucks, uh, but we're not <laughs> talking about that because that one already sold out. So let's look at the non foils. Non foils. This costs thirty. You're only looking at thirty six dollars now. Let's let's think about this. A little I, I bit. do think the uh, it's the gonna art be higher. Is kind of premium. It's yeah. gonna go higher. It's it's that's my baseline of it. It's thirty six dollars. I think this sucker is gonna go higher, especially since we already had the foil counterpart die or get sold out. I think Jeez. everything yeah die. It went a little extreme there. Uh, I think. I think this one is going to be probably double of all the prices that I said. So I this one I I still think. Because the other one sold out so quickly, I think this one, in my opinion, is worth it. And I was going to say that before that I thought it was worth it, even with the uh, the foil version. You know, at sixty six dollars, your break point four. I just that was a baseline, but these look really sweet, and I was excited to see how it looks in foil. So, uh, for you, is this this worth it for you? This is one that you picked up, right? As the as the non foil version. Yeah, and the non foil. Um, if if we're just if, we're if you're only just because obviously I bought the foil I was able, yeah. I got I got right under oh, the line good like I got the oh, yeah good right. I got you. the email and I was about to start putting the the kids to bed I was like well, I'm gonna, I got I need five minutes give me a second yeah. let's get this done <laughs> um, but so I I would say yes especially if you don't have sword of the animus yeah um, but I think aether vial being a normal like four of card and whatever it is it, i know it's not super popular right now and goblins or merfolk or whatever but they tend to pop up as well of every once in a while in legacy um and i mean there's a shot in modern form as well but i i think this ends up being higher on the wants list okay. on on the upswing and yep. you never know when that really is um, an and arcane signet. I'm not going to say this is again the top notch of it. You have the but galaxy. It's in there. You have the galaxy foils, which giving you an idea of those. Those are selling yeah. for 30, 40 bucks. I've, those are 30, 40 bucks. Yeah, I, I say this gets into that 30 range. I don't yeah. know if it gets to 40. No, but I, it I might. think it's a, yeah. I was going to say 20 to 30. So I think you're right. Yeah. right 20 to 30 range. for the non foil. Yep. Let's go with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And that's the thing is some people. The the, the crazy thing about secret layer stuff is. You would think there's this big difference between the foil and non foils, but they're actually pretty close, especially in the beginning. Now, when you get further yeah. out, a couple years out, there is a, there tends to the foils start to stretch away, but or especially in that first year and a half or so, they stay pretty close they're together. Close. So, uh, and especially if it's more of a, a a card that's not arcane signet as the example, but other cards that are used in other formats, people almost prefer the non foils because of the potential curling and all that stuff with foil. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you're, you're doing a competitive modern or something like that form or legacy or whatever, people don't like the foils as much. So, okay. So this one we both thought was worth it. Uh, let's move on to the last one and then we'll break down the, well, there really isn't many, foil, any bundles we're going to be able to talk about after this, but let's right, uh, right. We'll talk about the ones that are left. Uh, come on. Click this it. is Phoebe wall. Uh, kind of the artist series of it and there's five cards in this one you start off with uh swords to plowshare which is its 14th secret layer yeah, iteration it's, 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 you can't get enough of swords and plowshares let's get it <laughs> right uh exaggeration if you if you're unaware uh yeah. the next one is fairy artisans um which i don't i don't hate the card i mean but... it's a good card but it's not worth it's not worth anything so <laughs> right okay uh, and then you have Dockside Chef, which was a great savant uh, question that I think got me a little while ago. Mm. But this this one is less than nothing mm. um, yeah, the, as a non-secret layer card. Yeah. You have a Layla Artful Provocateur, which was a secret layer uh, last spring, almost a year ago. And uh, this one's not worth me, much it either. doesn't beat. What's that? This one isn't worth much either. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah. We're going to have our first, um, uh, it's not worth it here. I think the only the, card in this that's good is this little guy right here. Door of Destinies, which uh, puts counters on it whenever you cast like a fairy or whatever. Uh, or uh, tribe uh, you decide to choose. Yeah. And then and it, then gets plus one, yeah. plus one for each card, charge counter on it. That's a good 
movable card. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be in a fairy deck. It yeah. can be in anything. Um, so that that one becomes that becomes the card from this set. Is there any more on this one? Nope, that is it. So that, yep, yeah, that is it. Um, art wise, I'm not a fan of personally. I know people probably are. I, it just this right. doesn't reach out to me. Like I gotta have I, this one. I like the best, the Door of Destinies, out of the five that are there. But mm -hmm. like you said, Swords of Plowshares has got printed the, so many secret no. layers. All the other cards aren't, they aren't over $5. Like there isn't a version of the card yeah. that's over $5. Dora, and, Dora. and this is very much a like fairy theme. Mm -hmm. And they could have picked better, more expensive, better, more played fairies. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I mean, and don't get me wrong. I, yeah. Not, not Plowshares. Because the, the thing is, is like, I like the fairy artisans, but it's not an expensive card and I like it. And I tried to right. put it in a deck once and then it, it just doesn't work the way you think it's going to work out in a game. It, it seems fun, whatever, but it, whatever, uh, not breaking down the, mm -hmm. the use of them, but, um, surprisingly swords is probably the most, one of the more expensive cards besides door to door of destinies. Um, uh, right. but you're looking at $35 in value for non foil and $45 in value for foil. So, this is going to cost I, I you. I wouldn't trust that one bit. Yeah. This is going to cost you $43 <laughs> when you include taxes and everything to buy it. And then when you sell those cards, if you want to, you're going to get hit with fees and everything. So you're going to be less than that. So there is no break so, point. There is no way that you're getting one of these for free. Uh, you can't buy and all that. But for, yeah. if this doesn't get bought, then it'll change that whole thing. Like if no one likes this then it might make it go up. But that, that's not what we're talking about here. We're, we're doing that. Uh, I, I, I don't that like logic. doing Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> I don't ever buy because of that. That's the so dumbest I, thing. If you like the cards, if you like the arts, definitely go for it. Get, so, get one. You, for me, this one is... The price is wrong. The price is wrong, bitch. That is for sure. what it is. For sure. <laughs> I did not get this one. It was yeah. not... Yeah. It's... it's. I hardly even play... Yeah. Yeah, Bitter Blossom for the eighth time? Come on. Yeah. Come on, Justin. It's... <laughs> Oh, I mean overall, but as a secret layer, we do have one, one bitter blossom. Yeah. But the there's there's plenty of reprints when it comes to bitter blossom on. Yeah. We just had it in Eldrain. Uh we've had it a, a couple of times. It was in that uh it was the Commander Masters thing or not. Is it Commander Masters? It was what uh, no, it was yeah, you're right. Eldrain, but it was the um, the extra the, series this, stuff or yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh okay. So we both don't think this one's worth it. This one is by far the worst Sad out thing. of the, the drops here. Okay, so what do we have left for our bundles? Do we have any other bundles we can really deal with? Really, besides Not the really. fallout ones, is going with the non-foil bundle. You you went away. What happened? Oh, okay, there you go. Now went. I'm back again. I'm back and delayed. Right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have the non-foil bundle left. Uh, let's see here. Non-foil. If you buy that one, you're saving twenty dollars, which that's really not. But you get that ignoble hierarch in foil, so I guess that's kind of a a, a, a perk there. But that's pretty much it. Is it? <laughs> that I, I mean, not... it looks cool, but it's yeah. also yeah, right. I know it's it might. It, I mean, the fact that these are card. selling out. Maybe and I haven't refreshed the page, although I, I think somebody would update us on chat if something else sold out at this point, uh, especially the Fallout one. So personally. What I did and what I would recommend to people, well, I did the the whole foil bundle, but at this point, with what we have here, the Fallout bundle is the foil bundle is what I would go with because you're saving twenty. That's a good point. All three of them are seventy five or higher. Is what? It, yeah, seventy five or higher. You got a seventy five, a ninety, and a 90, 95. So you're getting your value there, and those bonuses. If you hit a mono vault in there, I mean that pretty much is probably paying for at least half of what that cost you so yeah um, not not saying you're scratching the lotto ticket to try to get that but there is that chance and wastelands are no joke the um what was it warhammer wastelands secret layer those i was selling for 15 20 bucks you know and those those were non-foil <laughs> so these are foil so um what, so what did you do again what did you buy with all this i i was able to get the the foil uh rovino and then I got a foil uh, Vault Boy, the one with Static Orb. Okay. So those are the two that I got. I do, it, I was questioning the one with Aura Shards and then the one with the Bajuka Bog. Um, so you might. 
You might. Uh, I could have. No, there. I'm not going to go back. <laughs> that, there's no way I'm going to do two. I don't keep track of that shit. <laughs> um, I so actually, I, th those were two that almost got me. Like my initial plan was to buy a foil bundle of one of them. Yeah. And then just buy the one that I want, like the either the foil tarot card one or the foil one that I got of the Fallout. Um, I don't know which way I was going to go, but with that email, I was like, I'm going to get the ones that I know that I want. Right. And then after that, it's okay. I don't, I, I try and control the FOMO as much as I can. Yeah. But I do, you know, I understand that I, I don't, if I'm not going to get it and I want it, I'm going to, I'm going to get what I want, but right. I'm not going to like feel bad about stuff that I'm not. Right. Um, with this overall, the drop itself was it's one of the more meh ones that we've had. Um, Agreed. There wasn't one that like, not that they need to be over a hundred dollars, but we normally get one where it's like, oh, this is the clear cut winner uh, of the drops. I would say out of like a 10, this is like a five. <laughs> like, you know, you take your, you take the last drop, which is uh, Sheldon's uh, drop as like a, an 11. So it's, it's, it goes beyond our scales. And then this one drops to a Final five. Tap so, movie? Yeah, is that what we're doing? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this one just drops. I don't know. This is a five. And if the fallout is what brings it up. If you didn't have the fallout ones, I think actually this would be like a three or a two. Uh, well, it's just the three. Norm normally we have a little bit. M is there normally only six for a super drop? No, there's more. This is a this is the lower I say, super yeah, drop. Yeah, it's a small one. There's um, kind of not a lot of cards yeah I, I don't know yeah it it feels a little different it feels a little lackluster um and we waited. I don't mind that i don't i don't care i don't have right. to spend a ton of money that's right fine. I, yeah that's a good point that's uh fine. but we waited like what three four weeks before this one came out i mean we've yeah been well thinking, i think i know i was excited. there was some anticipation right it was like it's gotta come this week it's gotta it's come this week, week. <laughs> uh so I, yeah I, this is yeah not as as, as, as a Rings single one. drop, it's not as bad as the Lord of the Rings one. That was agree. That was the worst. One. Um, that was by far the worst. But as a but whole, that whole drop was good. Like uh, yeah. that whole drop was actually decent. It was just that Lord of the Rings one was <laughs> bad, horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> so like uh, it was almost offensive. That was, <laughs> that's what it was. It was no seriously because I was so excited. I'm like, oh, here we're gonna get some good stuff here, Lord of the Rings. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So that's going to do it for the, uh, the secret layer stuff. It's a secret. Uh, yeah. Slurry, uh, why don't you give us those tag stuff? When, anybody that's here that is not normally here, make sure you guys uh, do all that fun stuff. I was what am started, I doing? I, was, I don't know. Do our, do our tags. Not tags, but, you know, give us that's a like. What, you said tags. I don't know. I, I meant like, no, like that's. I meant like the the thumbs ups and the the, the subscribes and all that, you know. Fine, don't oh. do it. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Hey, if you jo enjoyed the secret layer thing, we do that whenever they come out. You can always, and if you want to make sure that you get to see us, you got to share, like. Well, you don't have to share it, but you got to subscribe, <laughs> yeah, and then you you'll go. get those little belly things. And we would appreciate it if you shared stuff from the secret layer or even the podcast, and yeah. you know. Yeah, whatever. There we go. Um, and then like it, there like it, because if we get over ten likes, that'll be helpful. <laughs> that'll be <laughs> whole ten. Great. I mean, everybody watching right now, you guys can give it a like, and that'll get us over ten. That'll help us out there, or we'll at least beep, beep, beep. double, if not triple, that with everybody there. Okay, let's get let's get to the uh, the the meat and nope, the beer and pizza of no nah, meat and potatoes. No, everybody likes no, meat and potatoes. No. This is America. No, potatoes, getting a beer and pizza. I'm going to get us off of the uh, secret layer stuff so we can kind of chat a little bit. Uh, okay, so to the podcast. This is episode 320. This is weird that we just jumped right into it. but uh, Get out of here. Irvises for life? Come yeah, on. Tad. Thank you, buddy. The fuck? <laughs> out of oh, here. Oh, I should get your button. Sorry. Get I would the, appreciate uh, it. There we go. There's Lowry. You get push my buttons. Fuck. Ow. <laughs> this was said Get so many times this Ow. weekend. Uh, we had uh, a good time. our annual, well, I guess we've had it twice, two times <laughs> in the last six months or whatever, but annual, uh, we got another one. Oh, it's RoboCop. Hell yeah. Urza's for life. 
Okay. Look at look at that shirt. The, uh, look at that right there. You can get that at the oh, Commander did I Smith store. Shirt? I didn't switch my you shirt. Didn't wear your shirt. All right. Commandersmiths.com. You can pick up Urza's for Life. Lowry doesn't have his uh his I team got, I, I still got a Smith shirt. Oh, we got a red Smith family. Look at one. this. Yeah. This is the first time I've had a majority over here. This is just a run. All where's right. Your, where's your team for I'm going one? to sleep. Good night. <laughs> I don't feel supported enough here. <laughs> So we had our we had our annual uh, guys weekend up at our grandparents' uh, family cabin, uh, and it was it was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Lowry? It was a good time. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but it was a good time. Yeah. Lowry gets up. So a bunch of us went up there on Thursday night. Uh, Lowry and number two showed up on uh, middle of the day uh, on Friday. And yeah. Lowry went straight to the bottle as soon as he got. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. That's I, I knew I got a base. <laughs> I I brought up some, you know, a microwavable thing of of uh, fried rice and another thing of veggies. Ate that, and then I hit the bottle <laughs> ASAP. Everybody, nobody's even drinking. I'm like. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Gin and tonics. We were in the strongly when we knew things were going south. Was we had two pods going. We had two rooms, and we're all. Uh, my pod was in the other room, and Lowry's in the other room, and we just get a quiet spot. And the only thing we're hearing is what the, you like the most depressing talks that you guys were having. It was like, well, that's not, pol you did politics at one point. But it wasn't suicide. What the hell are you talking about? No, no, no. I mean, essentially, it was just right to life. <laughs> discussions was, i mean it could have been abortion or it was yeah, kind of COVID it's all, and, and it was or just like, you know end of life what situations are you guys talking it was about? just it it stemmed from covid and then it kind of moved into those other things and I, all it was you know i was drunk but it was just it was sad that <laughs> that you could uh, you know you, covid didn't actually cause any real conversations on life and death and stuff like that because america sucks at it we are not good at dealing with death at all yeah um, and so it was sad that we didn't grow at all on the discussion. It just, it made it worse. So, <laughs> and then apparently you had a discussion that, uh, Renshai is a bot. No, I mean, so number two, put that on me and, or Cole and himself, I never believe I've met Renshai in life. So, um, I know he's not a bot. Maybe. Um, and Maybe I know they both is that met him as well. So I don't, it was just probably just attacking him. And I felt like he was kind of offended. I, I apologize, Ranchai, for number two's actions. <laughs> uh, okay. So let me, let me do this timeline of what happened on Friday. So yeah, that whole conversation was happening. And like every time we'd be quiet, we'd hear Lowry depressing or something talk. We don't even know what's going on. We're like, what you know are you mean? guys doing? Yeah. Fucking crazy. It's not, it's not even depressing. It's just a conversation to be had. It's just the weirdest thing to have during a commander game. It was it was fantastic. Uh, we get done with our commander game. I think oh, the only person that was out of your guys' game was Cole, right? You guys knocked Cole out pretty early. Isn't that right? Or who? Somebody, He's still had, playing. I don't know. No, because he ended up helping you because you couldn't finish the game is what I was going to No, he was it. still in the game. He was in the game helping you? He was right next to me. He wasn't helping me. I was, I couldn't talk straight. And I was pointing to cards and pointing to that. And then he was translating it so that if I was trying to talk, it would slow down the game pace. And so, so I was just bop, bop, and kept on playing. That's all so, it was. So basically, you need a cold translator anytime you're drinking at this point. Because uh, that was, the same, I, I mean, that's what Cole just I given. happens to be there two, three times in a row. But. <laughs> doesn't have to be okay him. so we, we get done with that he, they finally finished up their game probably an hour it took you guys three hours at least but an hour and a half after us i ended up making dinner and tried to feed you and you didn't take it and you're just blah 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 blah, blah. you're very chatty kathy at that point um so once you guys finished we were like lowry's not going to be able to do another commander game so let's let's jump into board games because otherwise the commander game is going to go until two o'clock in the morning and that'll be like a seven hour game. So we jumped into some board. And you're giving me some, some, you don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we, we, uh, jump into some board games. Uh, let's see what it was there. Oh, so we played this game called just one. And so what it is, is you have a card that's in front of you and let me see. You get a card and you Just can't pick see on me. everything here. Like it has like five choices here. 
and yeah. the person has it in front of them. Everybody else can see it, and you pick a number, and then everybody writes it down, and then one writes one, one word, word, one down word to down. describe that word. And if and then all of the people show their word, but not to the person that that chose the word, they have to look away. And if there's any matching, you have to eliminate those, and then then you show what words are left over, and they have to try to guess it. So it's it's a team game. Everybody's trying to get it. So. Yeah. <laughs> Lowry has <laughs> he has some jokes at that time. This is the peak of his drinking at that point. You have not come down. And at that point, I was like, there's no way well, you're making I, it. I leveled it. out because we had already played Secret Hitler. We played Werewolves. Or were, were was Werewords? That, was, Werewords. Oh, it was Werewords? That was at the end of the night. Oh, How drunk was were you, the, no, sir? I wasn't at all, really. You were uh, gone. Yeah. <laughs> so Just. anyways... Uh, <laughs> Lowry, like one of the words was Microsoft. So Lowry wrote down, they have to be real words, mind you. So <laughs> Lowry wrote down, uh, long, o hard. <laughs> That's one yeah. of yours. Which is the opposite <laughs> of Microsoft. <laughs> and then <laughs> number two is like, nope, you're out. <laughs> what was the bonfire one? You wrote like something that's. Oh, uh, <laughs> probably just a regular fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Lowry's words basically were getting eliminated, not because he like, was matching anybody. It was just because he was making shit. I mean, smart ass. Yeah. Like, so, if you live in like any city and or surrounding suburbs, you have like burn uh, restrictions and stuff like that. And I feel like anytime, hey, you want to come over for a bonfire? I'm like, is it really a bonfire? <laughs> or is this just a regular fire? So that was my thought. That was your and bit. So it was an inside joke when, to you is what it was? Basically, <laughs> I, I find myself very entertaining at okay. that point. So really quick, the best part of this game is when Lowry was the person having to guess. And so we all, he had every word. No one got any of them eliminated. <laughs> and the, the word was ticket. But all the words that were out there was citation. And there was like, Willy, was there, what was the Willy Wonka one? Because that's what you ended Golden. up. Golden. Golden. And then, yeah. I don't remember, there's all the. Train. The, the funny thing is, is. Every time, like, Larry's doing this out loud because he's hammered and he's like, ah, train. And then he reads citation, but he doesn't say citation. He says ticket. And then he's like, golden. And he's like, like, Willy Wonka, like, golden. And then he goes back to citation. He goes, ticket. And then we're like, we're losing our minds. But he's drunk. <laughs> You're drunk enough that you don't catch on why we're losing our minds because you I, think you're I, actually I don't even know if I notice you're losing your mind we're because like, I'm ah! just focused on trying to get it. Yeah. And then it, we're like, how are you not getting this? You're like, well, I, it's, it's train and it's ticket. And we're like, ah, like yelled at you as you said it. And you're like, what? It says ticket. And we're like, that says ticket. And you're like, <laughs> I don't get it. And then, it, then we're like, all right, Larry, you got to make a guess. And you said, Willy Wonka, wasn't that what your guess was? I did. So you I, I was not allowed to use two words either. <laughs> but they all, all the words kind of worked with Willy Wonka. <laughs> Except for citation, you I was just kept saying ticket. <laughs> oh my God, it was fantastic. Oh, that was that was the highlight of the night. Um, I had one little other story with, with Tyson when uh, he went outside to vape or whatever. He went out there. <laughs> And this is probably at like, at that point, it was like midnight. And he's like, oh, just so you guys know, the neighbors are there. So it's a, our, our cabin is like a, a twin home. It's two yeah. right next to each other. We share one wall. You can never hear anybody next door. Like, and we've never had really complaints. But then the port, the decks, you can see the other side. So he like leaned over and he's like, oh, I could see somebody there. So we're like, oh, shit. Hopefully we don't, you know, we're not too loud or whatever. Uh, probably, I think it was like two o'clock in the morning. We like brought that up again. We're like, oh, hopefully we weren't too loud. And then Tyson go chimes in. He's like, yeah, about that. I went back out there and, oh, cause he told us he made eye contact with him. And he was like, yeah. yeah. And we're like, <laughs> oh, were they hot? And he's like, eh, I wouldn't really do them. And we're like, okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> so th then that two o'clock in the morning rolls around and he's like, oh, I got to kind of call myself out here. I went back out. Uh, there aren't people next door. I saw my own reflection. <laughs> so he caught eyes with himself. And also he said he wasn't, he wouldn't do him. Like that's right. the best part. I wouldn't do me. I think that's a fair assessment. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was just, uh, I, I, there's so many, I'm not going to go through everything, but you had your, your, I wrote down ham and junk tortilla, like at one point. You basically just took every ingredient. It was a Doritos was, burrito. <laughs> every ingredient, wet ham, just threw it on there. 
And then, uh, not that the, you like cooked it that way, but then didn't you went and grab? Did you put it all in a tortilla? Because I remember you oh, had it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because because I'm a smart drunk person apparently, but I was just <laughs> making nachos. That's all I was doing. You started as just nachos, and then we were playing the game, and I was like, "Well, this is messy as fuck if I'm playing a game," and so I threw the ham on there. A, a tortilla over the top and then did two plates flipped it over and then wrapped it up and then fucking mowed. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. It was went to town. disgusting. It was crazy. It, it probably was delicious. Disgusting. It was delicious. How do you, have you guys never had? It's like your meat bucket. I mean, that's it's people want your meat burrito. bucket. It's, it's like the same thing. And then, and then the quote of the weekend comes the next morning when, uh, Larry's actually 100% sober. And do you want to just say what, what your quote was? From, nah, I, don't, I forgot it. Okay. He point. told number two, you know, you know what changes your life more than kids? Gout. <laughs> <laughs> I stick by that statement. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, that was I, funny. I eat healthier because of gout. I go to bed on time more. <laughs> You don't drink as often. And I don't just, drink as often. <laughs> I feel like kids are like the opposite. Yeah. Uh, I, just no. ruins all that stuff. All right. So, oh, no, no. My, my favorite was, okay, so last one. Last one before we move on to all our, our last stuff. Um, so Jeremy uh, doesn't drink, or he doesn't drink very yeah. often. And this was legit, I have yeah. never seen him drunk. And so the goal of the weekend was he was going to get drunk. So on Friday, the same day that like this is all happening, the, the big night was Friday. So yeah. Jeremy's getting hammered, and he's one of the, the the drunks that is wanting to have fun, wanting everybody else. <laughs> the kids made me drink more is what <laughs> RoboCop said. Uh, yeah. Cheers yep. to that, buddy. <laughs> so he's... He turns into not, not like drink police where it's like, oh, you done with that drink? It was like super over the top happy like gonna get you a drink gonna open it for you do all this stuff like he wanted everybody to be drinking and having fun with him so we're playing i think was that secret hitler at the time that you had to keep your nope. eyes closed nope. or was it it, it was, was it, it was, was still the uh, one word game yeah it was one word okay so but you had to keep your eyes closed because that might have yeah. even been when you did the well, that, ticket because that's how i i know because i was doing that yeah. going like this so <laughs> I, I had my drink, like, actually, this cup, our Commander Smith mug in my hand. And I had my drink in mm -hmm. my hand, and, I, and, like, Jeremy's across the table. I'm like, Jeremy, you're you're an awesome drunk. This is so much fun. You're so much fun. And then I went to take a sip, and I'm like, oh, shit, I got to rip on Larry. But you said, <laughs> are you going to say it, or do you want me to say it? <laughs> and Larry goes, how come no one says that about me? How come no one is saying no that? No one's saying that about me. And we <laughs> fucking <laughs> roared. And I was like, I was just I just had my eyes closed the, like covered the entire time. I I don't know if anybody else was. I heard it, but I couldn't Ever. see anybody else because yeah. they're all showing the, the words and whatnot. I fucking lost the, it. It was that so time, that it was, was good. five hours of drunk Lowry, so it was uh it was pretty fantastic. So yeah, uh, uh, overall that was a uh, uh, that hurt my stomach laughing so hard this weekend. So that was that was a good time. So we got um, speaking of commander games, uh, you got about ten games in. I got about thirteen games. Uh, yep. I got to play Mothman three times. Freaking who Mothman does some work. That is a, a fun deck to play. It's finally there is a mill commander that isn't necessarily a mill commander. You're I ended up right killing somebody with rad counters uh to after you were dead dead yep <laughs> i was dead they were at one life they drew their first card and it was a land the second card was uh non-land and the, that, that was the game winner that's actually what finished the game uh i think that was a number two win on that one but yeah it's, it's a fun deck so. to play you, you're doing like the rad counters and, and I mentioned it before. I hope they continue to do stuff like that. I don't know if they can because it's, I mean, they can, but it doesn't fit with theme wise, but it's such right. a fun mechanic because it's you're milling people, but they're just getting pinged one at a time, one, two at a time each turn. And it, it just kind of does the, the Mogus effect where it's the static killing everybody at once. And eventually you get a couple turns in and all of a sudden everybody's in their twenties and now everybody's in their teens. And now, it's a kill shot for anybody. So it, it was a, a fun deck. You had your, your Mothman was, how big was your uh, Lugie 4? 
What did you get I, to? Yeah, be, right before I, I dropped it because I was going to kill you. Yeah. I forced. I was forced to kill yeah. you <laughs> through goading. On two two players goaded it. Um, but I got a Terra War. It was 32 32 before I killed you. And then it dropped down to a 22 22. And then I died before I could attack with it. But still, I, I like a 22 22 trampler for three mana. Yeah. I'll take that. That was not bad. Uh, what was, do you have any notable games? I got, I don't have any like notables. Other than this, I played the Caesar pre con. That one was a lot of fun. The Hail Caesar one. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to change that one. That one was fun. Um, I played Will, Akiri, Duke. That was when you killed me when I was playing Duke. Uh, my Morph disguise deck, Hackball, Ansrag, Tom Bombadil did Tom Bombadil things. Edgin, dude, <laughs> every time I play Edgin, it gets down to one uh, approach, uh, Dragon's approach to win the game, and I don't get it. Like, it's it's always just Clockwork. there. Yeah. And it, 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 I think the last two, 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 ugh, two times I played it, I think I was playing Cole each time, where he pulls off the win because I don't draw the last dragon to the approach <laughs> I need. So it's, it's a fun deck. I like it. Um, but, yeah, do you, we did, we only played one or two games together, didn't we? Well, definitely my Mothman and your. Yeah. Oh, we, we did a couple more. We had the last night. Yeah, we, we did played a like three in a row there. So yeah. Um, um, the only game that was wild, that that felt oh, really really swinging was hard. the one with me number two and Cole. Yeah. Um, number two is playing Locust God. I'm playing Takasia, like fill up the graveyard and reanimate, and Cole is playing. I don't remember the gal, but it's not a Nyxia, but from that commander set. Like whenever an enchantment goes into the graveyard opponents lose that much life for the cmc and he gains that much and then there's he it was fully sagged and number two with locust god oh no 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 it wasn't locust god that was no locust shentai oh okay. the, it was the shrine deck oh yeah yep, um, yeah, yeah it was yeah, a shrine yeah and so uh but the shrine was kind of slowly milling coal and I'm milling myself, just surveilling as much as I can. So he's not trying to mill me. And then Cole goes to re- – he's able to reanimate eight sagas back. And he get he has a Satessan hero. He's drawn a ton of cards. And I'm going, whoa, that got wild. And then I'm trying to reanimate my graveyard. And I already had like 15. It goes around – and uh but cole all his sagas were creatures because of uh nick's field the the enchantment yeah. that turns them all into the white so he has a ton of creatures and uh i have a seedborn muse so i'm i'm tapping out and tapping and surveilling more and trying to just dig super deep and uh number two copies all of the creatures with clone legion i believe it was and so he gets eight sagas all their triggers all going. everything going on <laughs> and we're trying to figure out if they are creatures or not as well because he's copying creatures <laughs> but the card that gives it creatures is not a creature so he's not copying that part he's drawing all the satessan hero triggers as well so and are we, they what did you figure we out? believe that it is not um and so a judge came kind in, of just thought sagas. it would be a creature but then at the same time later on he was like fuck magic the judge said, this. "Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He's like, give me a second. And then I don't think he ever. I think he eventually got back to us the next day, and he was saying, "No, it's not, because it's something about like it's not an inherent part of the card. It is like an applied layer so, of the card. So he, the card that's still, not applying, he would still there, make the so, copies across. Yeah, but then they would instantly turn into enchantments, is what you're saying, right? Okay, right. Because he doesn't. And so have if, the there other thing. A, if there was, if there was, I think." the example was something like um like uh what is it broken counterpart and so that is a like a instant card that copies a creature but makes it a one one the one one is an inherent part of that creature right but when you have a card that is saying this is a creature like that one one is something that you could if you were to make a copy of the croaking counterpart token that would be a one one it wouldn't be the original mm. creature's power and toughness to whereas this is if you're making a copy of the creature of the saga 
it's only has that ability from a different like permanent yeah. rather than itself. How did and you so, go, how did you guys play it out in in the moment? Well, well, <laughs> the next turn, Cole just went off and we lost like seventy life, and we lost the game. And oh, because the, the other thing too was he was starting to trigger all of this stuff. And I was like, okay, I've, I, I'm down to four cards in my library. I'm like, I'm going to bring everything back and just start knocking off enchantments before things are triggering. And then number two decides to exile all graveyards and fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I can't do anything. And I, and I tilt and I do, I, I don't kill his commander. I don't, you know, I, there's so many things I could, there's a couple of things that I could have done and I was aiming to do it in the graveyard. I miss it all. I fuck it up. And just Cole just runs us through and it just, just a so, bloodbath but, at that but point. What I'm wondering is did not, did you in that moment though, change, did you play it as they were enchantments for number two or creatures? We, we were. Yeah. Yeah. Just but again, he, it, it didn't matter, didn't matter at all. Okay. No, nah. because he did it, got all of his triggers. There were, they were enchantment triggers rather than any creature in, you know, and he couldn't attack and there was no like attack blocking. Um, and so it just kind of, it worked out that we didn't need to know, but now we do. So it's, it's an interesting part yeah. of it. But. Well, it makes sense now. Yeah. Um, okay. So that was, did you have anything else with the, the weekend stuff of games, anything? Uh, game wise? No, no. I, I agree with you. Mothman's really cool. Um, Oh, did you play your new deck that you were working on last week at all? Dr. Madison Lee? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't sleeve it. Okay. So I didn't have it up there. But Jeremy played his Madison, yeah. Dr. Madison Lee. It did that some was work. Much, it's very different. Yeah, yeah, artifact creature themed. And it worked really well for him. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. He was marionetting yeah. and overall we had we had a lot of good games. It was cool. We yeah. we pretty much, you know, we played during the day. Uh, well, I guess the last night we played a little bit longer until midnight about, and then that's when you guys went to bed and played, some, we played some other board games. So, um, next, next, uh, big venture is going to be SmithCon uh, in June here. That's where we're going to have our big, basically yep. two days of doing that. So that'll be good. All right. Um, okay. So this is normally where we do our tags, but I'm not going to really, I'm just going to do a shortened version. Basically, if All you're right. watching us right now, you guys can, uh, there are four ways to support the commander Smiths. Uh, one of the ways is, oh God, how do I, I'm going to go back to my other notes. Cause I didn't even write that down here. One of the other, one of the first ways is to become a patron. A dollar more gets you into the discord. Uh, $5 gets you proxies each month. If you so choose like this little guy, where's that little guy, that little guy, this little guy. Uh, <laughs> well, it, this is a trouble in pairs that I didn't, I, I did steal art, but I didn't steal it like the other one and claim that it was my own art. Uh, but this trouble in pairs from Legolas right. and Gimli. Uh, so those you can get as you move up. Uh, Five dollars gets you proxies if you want, and then if you move higher, you can get the foil ones. Uh, so you get you get a little bonus so if you're supporting us. You also get a bonus if you want uh, some if you play with proxies or your group plays with proxies. Uh, the other way is you can donate on the live uh, feed here, like we we're saying right here. We have the Malorto meter at forty dollars right now. Once we hit a hundred dollars, we will uh, have that. If I remember the drink name, we have the drink. What is the drink name again? I don't know. Ah, shit. Painkiller. The painkiller uh, Malort drink. Once we hit that, we will drink that for the cast, which if you didn't see the ranch one, it's fucking terrible. Uh, and then I'm we not sure if reset. anything can really beat that. We might have yeah. started off with, we'll the, start peak, with the worst. But... Yeah. I was just thinking, I was like, we kind of picked an easy. We didn't pick it. It was you guys voted on it. I think we gotta have one. some some yeah. uh, some more uh, disgusting ones on the next round, uh, but that, it, that it's making us do we some stuff. Have to, but it's also uh, making us suffer, or it's also supporting us as well. So uh, donating anytime we're live, uh, that helps us out. The other way is this is the free way for you guys is just to watch us live uh, or watch us on YouTube. Uh, that helps us out mm -hmm. more than you know, especially if you share it and subscribe to our stuff. All that you're actually financially helping us out, even if it's pennies at a time, it still is helping us watch it and uh, or support us and everything. And we have some goals that we want to do. We actually are wanting to try to get some uh, cameras so we can start instead of just doing the Discord commander games. We actually want to start doing some uh, in real life commander games uh, and start recording those and everything. But we need a we need a, another camera to be able to do that. So 
any donations that helps us out. And then the last way is to visit our store at commandersmiths.com. I might as well just bring you guys over there since we're going to be going to Stump the Smith Savant. Actually, we're going to go to our uh, tournament here. Hang on, tournament think. results. All right, let's see. I got to show you guys <laughs> this. So we have the uh, commandersmiths.com is our store. So if you want to get some Smith swag, we have, like I mentioned last week, the new play mats that are up, which has the, uh, I don't know why that's all fuzzy right there. It shouldn't be fuzzy. But it's uh it's the Urza Saga versus uh, hashtag Team Forest Walk. So hashtag Urza's for life. Uh, we got a little battle of Lowry and I on there. So that it kind of has some meaning there. Uh, we got our t-shirts. Like I'm wearing one of them. Urza's for life. Welcome to the meat forest. You have hashtag Team Forest Walk. Got Malort. We got a bunch of t-shirts on there. Uh, and then metal tokens. We got, a, I think, four or five of those. And then the mugs that we are drinking out of. You can get these. I just put two beers in here. This is actually Ibukaki's suggestion. I'm mixing the <laughs> breakfast stout, Founders Breakfast Stout with a Founders Porter. Uh Ooh. roasted coffee. So let's see. Oh, that is good. He said that would be good and it is delicious. So thank you for the it suggestion. Is delish. So yeah, that nice. fits two full beers in it. It's a huge mug. It's a Yeti. Uh, and they're going for the price that you get Yeti's for it. You get a little stuff there. And they, I mean, it holds a ton of gin and tonic, a ton. <laughs> it's fantastic. And it has a top on it, so you didn't spill it as much. <laughs> <laughs> I do. No, I didn't have to point this out ever. And so, but I'm outing myself a little bit. So, like, I'd fill it up with a, a beer, you know, and like bigger beers. So it's not exactly what you're doing. But then I'd put the cap on it with the mouth hole on it, and just foam would go. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking fly out because of the pressure. I was like, oh, I did that like four times in a row. And I was like, I am drunk and this is kind of funny. And so, so it was right when you were making it. So no one else saw it. Right, right. So nice. I was over by the sink and nice. like pouring it. And then it's just like all over my hands or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so those are the, the ways you guys can uh, support the show. Uh, you can also follow the YouTube stuff. We do have videos this week. We're also going to, we're going to try to do that right Thursday. Um, the, mm -hmm. we're going to go through and like we just did with the, the secret layers, we're going to go through the new, uh, commander pre-cons and kind of tell you what we think, if we think it's worth it, or if we think their price is wrong, bitch. Uh, and then we also will do some upgrades with those. Not this week. That'll probably be the following week. So we just have videos. I think we, on average, put out. 15 to 20 videos a week or, or a month <laughs> a week that'd be a lot uh a month uh so th there's a lot of content so if you're not following us uh at this point you should uh check us out on youtube if you're just listening to us so all right uh i think that's it for all the the plugs and stuff so we have a tournament to kind of go over here ladies and gentlemen oh, the wrong one <laughs> Uh, okay, so we have the win the game tournament. And we are on to, well, this will be the uh, elite, or no, final four after this week. But we had the elite eight last week. I'm trying to remember which order I have these in. Um, I can't even hide it. So we're just going to scroll down. There was one upset. Everything else was no upset. So first on the, the list is approach of the second sun against mechanized production 68 percent went to approach of the second sun so that one moves on to the next <coughs> one that was our biggest <laughs> blowout of the week uh of this week yeah of this week okay yep, that is the biggest blowout all these other ones are pretty close uh our next matchup is simic ascendancy versus feldar uh which one do you think won with that one? Feldar, Gart? I have, a, I have a feeling that Feldar won. Like, it's life gain is needs it, yeah. kind of. And so it tends to. It was close, though. Uh, 56, Feldar, Sovereign, 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 Sovereign. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep, yep. It won with 50. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, thank you. She can't even read really it. Uh, it got 56% of the vote. So that moves on to the Oof. final four, our first upset of the tournament everything else has been going in order so i kind of spoiled that the next two obviously win uh but how by how much which one do you think won by more do you think hellkite tyrant won over lab Ma maniac by more or do you think thassa's oracle won over revel and riches by more 
I'm I'm gonna say that Hellkite won by more. By more. What do you think that won with? I don't know because okay, I yeah, don't remember I, I, what I'm, the first round okay. was. It actually was the closest. I know that was the biggest one. Fifty-three oh. uh, percent okay. over Laboratory Maniac. Uh, so that moves on to the final four in that. Uh, Thassa's Oracle was oh, the wow. second yeah. biggest beatdown of the week. So the beat, the biggest beatdowns ended up being on the same side. Uh, so yeah. Thassa's beat out Revel and Riches. The funny thing is, last week, Thassa's and Approach of the Second Sun were the biggest beatdowns as well. Approach of the Second Sun has each week had the biggest beatdowns. And guess what? The, okay. guess what they're doing this week? They're, they're facing they're going against each other. Yeah, they're going yeah. against each other. So this week we have Thassa's Oracle going against Approach of the Second Sun. And then we have Hellkite Tyrant going against Feldar uh, Sovereign. Sovereign. Yeah. So on let's well, let's talk about your side. The or, or not your side, the number one seed, which is what you picked. That's obviously. that's my one card left. Yes. So it is my side. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is your <laughs> yep. side. That's right. So where do you think? Uh, so no matter what, I have something in the finals. Yay! <laughs> right, right. You you have Hellkite's gonna make it on that side. You think for so? sure? Yeah, it's gonna be sovereign for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think it will too. Uh, but with um, Vasa, and then, Vasa and approach. I'm surprised I, by approach. approach is doing better than I thought, but I, it shouldn't have surprised me. Like people really enjoy that card. It's one that um, I actually play with. Yeah, like. It's one that is a win con that's like you're gaining. I know it, it's just it's a doable win con, especially if you're able to draw enough cards and all that. That's why it's in my will deck, which is a mm -hmm. life gain and drawing cards. And it's like that's like a perfect match for that deck. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, I think Thassa's has you know, it's it's it has its it's nuts, it knows it's yep. CDH, people know it, so I think it still might it might win. I, uh, I feel I like it's. it's talked poorly about in in any comments that i'm seeing as in like i feel dirty yeah right doing, like at least i think i've seen robocop and chris right and there might yeah. be some youtube comments that yeah. also are are doing that so it's kind of like i'm i'm worried that it, it's going to get the the bitter pick and like get, not get axed not, out. like they're gonna go i'd rather play a pr approach, approach. Yeah. than than Thassa's Oracle. I think if this is the week that Thassa could be knocked out, like if Thassa... I, th I think there's legitimate reason, like approach, I don't think is as good as Hellkite. But, so I, here, here, but here's here, what it would be in yeah, my opinion. I mean, Hell, Hellkite beats approach, but I don't think Hellkite beats Thassa. Exactly what but I was going to say. has... Right. That's, a potential weakness here. That's exactly what I was going to say. I was saying, is this, that what you're is, this is the week that if Thassa is to lose, it's this week. And if it Agreed. makes it past this week, then I think it wins the whole thing. If it doesn't, I think Hellkite takes it if it wins on its side, which I think it will as well. I think it will as well. Yeah, but yeah. I think if Hellkite's going against Approach, I think people take, you know, Dragons and, uh, you know, whatever, Hellkite Tyrant over uh approach but if you know vice versa so yeah we're in the same boat i think you're, right. you're very i think this one's the one to watch so uh the voting will go up as soon as tomorrow for both of them <laughs> we won't stagger these since we're down to the last two or last four last um, two last two matchups uh so yeah make sure you guys check out the community tab on youtube if you're listening to this and that'll go until next uh monday so or monday morning so all right, uh, we got all that stuff done. It's weird that we're doing this, and then we're at the end of the podcast because we're we're gonna get to our stump the Smith savants here. Let me get over there. there. Yeah. Get us off of here so I can pull my stuff up. All right, and then get here. There we go. It's time for everyone's favorite game show, Stump the Smith savant. All right. All right. If you guys don't know how this game works, I am going to read the flavor text of a card, and Lowry is going to try to guess the card by asking yes or no questions. Every yes, I'll hear this. Hello, boobies. Every no, I'll hear this. Wrong, 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 wrong. He'll get up to five wrong guesses before he is considered stumped. He will get up to three clues if he can get 
uh, everything about the card, but can't get what the card name is, he will get the initials. If he still has a clue left over, he will get a bonus clue, which should help him guess the card. The card has to be in at least 10,000 EDH rec decks. Uh, we are getting lower on these. I keep saying it. Uh, I mean, we still have the, the, the suggestion for today is almost a year to the date that this, this person entered. So we're starting to get, uh, everybody whittled down here. So it, it does take a while to get right. through everybody, especially since it's, it's random and everything. And actually who I drew last week, I forgot to take out of our drawing. So this week it's actually Matthew Hopkins, who is our stumper. Uh, your okay. current record is 85 and 28. That's a pretty damn good record. And we are on round 28, week six. So if you don't get stumped this week, we add a card to the ante. Currently, our ante is this proxy that I showed earlier with uh, Trouble in Pairs, Legolas, and Gimli there in foil. Uh, mm -hmm. And we have the foil uh, Meticulous Archive. Blue White Surveil Land. The Surveil Land. So if Lowry does not get stumped, there will be a third card. So the, the money's going to keep going up there. Uh, highly recommend you guys uh, enter. If you want to enter, you need to either direct message me on Discord, if you're uh, a patron or a part of the Discord, uh, or if you're not, we, you should be. No, but you can also email us at commandersmiths at gmail.com. I think that is everything. Oh, I have eliminated the chat, so chat can play along, and Lowry can't see what they are guessing. I will let you guys know if uh, you get it or if you're not. So, uh, yeah. All right. So here we go. I am going to show the flavor text here now. It's pretty quick. One quiet word sets off the stamp. One quiet word sets off the stamp. Hmm. Okay. Um. Stampede generally is going to be with like green, maybe red, um, but we're not. We're talking about that movement, and really, that card is about whatever that quiet, whoever or whatever that quiet word is. Likely is what they're talking about, and quiet tends to be white or blue, and so I feel like green is more obvious. I also feel like this is probably maybe the, maybe the more sure question is this is likely a non is this a non permanent spell a non permanent spell. wrong 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 <laughs> okay so it's permanent um So then I got to go between those two questions. Oh, I got it wrong. I'll take a first clue, please. Yeah, you don't have to keep going. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, these are uh, long uh, clues here, but uh, hang with me. So I'll go a couple okay. times. The art features a female battle leader sitting on the ivories of a giant hairy beast. The art features a female battle leader sitting on the ivories of a giant hairy beast. It's very cryptic for my clues. Mm. Is it? You're, like ah, it. you're, you're not fine. that. You're not that I'm clever. assuming that you're thinking of like a woolly mammoth type. Like, uh, no. Likely tusks. Um, quiet words sets off a stampede. So we're talking about a permanent. It's. I do think it's probably. Is it red and or green color identity? Hello, boobies. Okay. So we're talking about that lady. She has the power to set off of a, a stampede. Um, likely a creature, since we know it's permanent. Um, likely talking about the gal sitting on the yada. Um, is it a creature? Hello, boobies. All right. I'll take a second clue, please. This is the long one. All right. <clears throat> the text features... Something that o not only permanently pumps at sorcery speed, but also gives an ability to pumped creatures that is desired by big stompies. Let me read it again. The text features something that not only permanently pumps at sorcery speed, but also gives an ability to pumped creatures that is desired by big stompies. Ha, ha, ha. 
was that? Is my dog in here? I just heard it. <laughs> just a big oh. sigh. All right. So the thought is, is that sorcery speed giving a counter, a plus one, plus one counter, and then creatures with counters on them probably have... Oh. All right. All right. Nope. I think I got there. And gives trample. Um, can you reread that? The text features something that not only permanently pumps at sorcery speed, but also gives an ability to pump creatures that is desired by big stompies. I do. I do know what it is. Okay. Um, all right. Three and a green. Wrong, 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 wrong. Maybe two and a green. Cocky. Um, is it from Khan's block? Hello, boobies. All right. I'm not sure. I, it has, it has outlast. Hello, boobies. Do you know what that outlast cost is? Not worried about it. Two and a green? Hello, boobies. Uh, creatures with plus one, plus one counters on them. Uh, creatures with plus one, plus one counters on them have trample. Hello, boobies. So Outlast gives itself a... Uh, a counter at sorcerer speed. Yep. And that is a green and tap it. Hello, boobies. The only thing you need, well, I guess. That's a human? Hello, it's boobies. One of them. Okay. Um. So you just need one more creature type and it's power tokens. And then you get basically a giveaway. <laughs> It's it's a two two or a two three. Uh, power is two. Hello, boobies. Toughness is two. Wrong, 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 wrong. Toughness is three. Hello, boobies. And then I need one more. a human, whatever. Yep, one more creature type. How many wrong do I have? Three. Um, you're so close. And if you don't get that next, you know what it is. You don't need the third clue. So you just need to get this so I can give away stuff. Yeah. The, the name is eluding me, but I don't, I, you know, I know, know the name or I know the, I know card, the card. I don't know the name. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's kind of rough in that regard. Um, I haven't seen anybody guess like. There's a lot of people on, but no one's guessed on uh, chat, so no one's getting it. I assume I assume they used up all the good guesses with lightning bolt and jackal. No, there hasn't even been that's... that guess. There hasn't been a what? single guess. Yeah, oh, that's kind of crazy. Sleeping. All right. Um, I want to say it's something like Tuskmaster or something stupid. Um, <clears throat> I'm just trying to think of the best reason. I, I've a feeling it's something like a shaman because it would be a teamer a card from teamer is it a shaman human shaman wrong 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 oh. wrong one more yeah that's four wrong now isn't it what else could it be it has a big like headdress on they're chilling on the tusks maybe uh for the listener people that aren't watching i'm gonna go through all this stuff again while you're thinking one quiet word sets off the stampede uh yes uh joel got it there you go joel uh oh, the first clue is the art features a female battle leader sitting on the ivories of a giant hairy beast the text features something that is not only permanently pumps that not only permanently pumps at sorcery speed which you figured out was outlast uh, but also gives the ability to pump creatures that is desired by big snoppies, which is trample. Each creature you control with a one-one counter on it has trample. Uh, uh, 
So we know it's two hey, words here's, in the name. I'm here's not... what we know so far for everybody else, because uh, yeah. Scott did ask that. It is uh, two colors, one green. It is a two, three. It is a human blank. This is what we're missing, is the blank. As Outlast, one green, which is tapping it to one green and tapping it to a one, one counter on this creature. Uh, only at sorcery speed. And then each creature you control with a one, one counter on it has trample. We are just missing a second creature type. Mm. Warrior? Is it Warrior? Hello, boobies. There you go. I, see, I was giving that away in the uh, battle leader. Like, I was trying mm -hmm. to... Uh, I missed that. I, I just started trying to go through the tribes of yeah. cons. Yeah. And I was like, warrior, then there's... Okay, oh, so they, here, they got, here is yeah. the initials. If this doesn't help, I can give you the bonus clue because you have a clue left over. So yep. the, the initials are TC. The... T part. TC? TC. The T part, I gave away a little bit in the clue yeah. with, with, no, the, I, I, with yep. ivories, which you already kind of got. But it has two words, or it's, it's two words in that same one. The C is also given away in the first clue with leader. Uh, so it's a leader. It's not only a, it's the battle is given away one of the creature types. And the leader, battle leader, is another word for this an easier way to say what the C is. And the the other part of the word in the T part. Let, let's see if we can get the C part. Can you get to see what I'm talking about there? I, well, I don't think women want me to say it. <laughs> um. uh, okay, no, but the, so that's the other, right. okay, the other part kidding. of that first word... Uh, so you have the the ivories, and it's something when you're protecting your castle. You are, and you're that type of person. You're a protector. You're a protector. Damn it! I am. I. I... Yeah. The funny thing, Scott, you you did say mm -hmm. it's it's a common. That was one of the clues I was going to give. It was in cons. It was an uncommon, and then got yeah. downgraded to a common. That was, was that oh, in, in a, like a commander product or something. Uh, no, it, Zendikar. Oh, no, nope, it's still in Double Masters 2022 is when it got uh, downgraded to a combat. Okay. Um, so TC. Yeah, T T. The first part of that is tusk. There you go. Hello, boobies. Yeah. Yeah. Tusk that, something C. Yeah, C and the C, a battle leader. That one, that one's evading me. A leader is more of what um, is, but that starts with a C. Your dog's in the room again with you. Just <laughs> <laughs> leader uh, of Tusk something C, which is a leader. It's a human warrior. You don't even worry about the battle part. Leader. A leader that starts with the C. That should help. Me right I don't think it does. Colonel? Not not a real guess. Yeah. Um. All right. Colonel. Champion. Um, ticket. Uh, <laughs> it's a ticket. Um, it's a ticket. It's, it's a, a ticket. ticket. Yeah. It's so ticket. that that became a little bit of a running joke <laughs> yeah, whenever ticket? there was something. Yeah. Going it's, on it's, it's a ticket. Uh, and when we were driving back last night or yesterday, there was a lot of cops, and I was like, hopefully, no one got a citation ticket. ticket. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, champion was the first thing that came to my head. Um, that might make sense. I don't. Uh, the problem is, is that it's not coming to me, and that's that. That's going to end up becoming a problem. Um, uh, everybody's cheering cha you on. Champ Champion is used a lot, and I think that's very possible. And it also kind of goes with. It's like Tusk Guard Champion. That feels like a name. 
but again it's not like last time it was like fuck at this car like it yeah. just clicked and i had it and i knew it was so it what do you think in this one i'm just like i don't know about what that. do you think that the first word feel is like it's not right what do huh? you think the first word is tusk guard like one word like a tusk guard and then like champion bits like that the you are mm -hmm. the champion of guarding the tusk like it kind of works back and forth um and that's did you make up your that third clue one like or did you write it down i'm just wondering if you'd be able to repeat it without like <laughs> oh no I, I made it up okay so okay. But i'm trying to help you with because you got the first part so <clears throat> The second part of that word is somebody protecting the castle or, you know, you're right, protecting. Which is, in my mind, a guard. It could be a sentry. The uh, the second word is the a leader. It is leader. a battle leader. So I used it in the first clue, but it's a battle leader. Well, the battle is supposed to help you get to warrior, but the leader is supposed to help you. The leader of something. I don't. I don't, I'm not really a follower, so it's hard to know what the leaders are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you're saying that's in the first clue? Can I hear the first clue? The art features a female battle leader sitting on the ivories of a giant hairy beast. Okay. Um, charger? Um, a synonym for leader. That doesn't sound right. And actually, the synonym for what I did for this was, or uh, one of them did not give it completely away, was the battle leader part. So that's yeah. actually where yeah. I use a little, use a little uh, chat GPT to help me out there because there's oh. some of the other things. Uh, that's where I got ivories from, too. I'm like, how do I say tusk? <laughs> because it's in the damn name. I don't want to use tusks there. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, what do we use here? It was, yeah. Um, all right, so a leader in battle that starts with C feels like champion. Charger doesn't sound right. Generally, that applies to like a horse um, in some form. You got. Uh... Do you think you know what the first word is? Or are you trying to figure out the second word? I'm just trying to figure out the second word because like the tusk something will make it all make sense once you get it. Right, right, right. And I think if I if I can get there, and I, oh man, it's it's there. I know, I know the, what card. the card is. I just, I just don't, don't know yeah. the name. <laughs> just don't know the name, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't know how long we want to run with this until like. Um, Why don't you give me the the first? What you think the first word is? Give me that. Let's do there. And if you get it wrong, then we're done. I mean, just gut wise, just going with it because it hasn't gone off, but it'd be like Husk Guard. Is that your guess? Yeah. Hello, booby. That's right. You got that right. So Jesus. that's the protecting right. part. Yeah. Tusk Guard. Something that starts with the C that is a battle leader or a leader. I think just leader is an easier way to think about it than battle leader. Colonel, there's like, okay, going with Colonel, Champion. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's uh, something like a Captain. There's a uh, like a Charger doesn't make any sense. Uh, there's Captain kind of sounds good too. Champion, Captain, Tusk, Guard. Um, the charger right there. That's not scratching um, it off the list. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel doesn't sound. You know, obviously, it, like I want to say that Colonel Mustard was probably the first Colonel that they. <laughs> Um, 
uh, as a magic card. And so, champion, captain. Captain seems legitimate. There's, um, is there anything else? I gotta choose between those two, huh? Tusk guard, champion. Tusk guard, captain. Tusk guard. One quiet word sets off the stampede. Champion, I'll, champion I'll read would that first clue again, and then you should make a guess at that point. Because hold on, let me let me work my way through this a little bit. Champion would make me assume that like it's somebody that won something, and I mean it it, it kind of fits what's going on there. Captain. Also ends up leading. I like both those words. Yeah. Okay. All uh, first clue, please. The art features a female battle leader sitting on the ivories of a giant hairy beast. And my bonus clue is that battle leader. It's a leader. And we know that it starts with C. Yeah. Um. Ah. Tusk guard captain. Hello, you got you, it! You fucking kidding me. You got it! It still isn't fucking clicking. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh stupid. man. You didn't have Captain in there ever. I was like, God damn it. He's not even close. He's not, or not close, but, you know, like, the champion. Yeah. Well, so what I, I you know, because that was just off the top of my head, giving the clue, and I yeah. regretted not being like, because it's a captain of the team. It's the leader. That's what... And I should have said it that way, but then uh -huh. I said it the well, way I said it, and then I was like, "Fuck, I can't keep adding on to it." Being yeah, like, yeah. It's no, you did that a, right. A leader of you the football right. team. It's a leader. Blah 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 blah. And that's where I was like, "Oh my god, I fucked that up. I didn't really give him a good clue because I was just like, oh yeah, go off of leader.' But yeah, good job working your way there. Because then when you broke it down there with champion and captain, I was like, "Oh, I hope he gets it because champion would be more of like." Here's my champion. It's not like that person's not your leader. It's the person right. fighting for you or, you know, that's the, the one that's going to win. And know? that's why it didn't feel like right. Right. It, it was like, it makes sense, but it doesn't feel right for a leader that yeah. like the clan, it doesn't feel right for that set a little yeah. bit. And, and so then like, but it's all that was coming to me at that point. And then, you know, Colonel's there, but you know, that doesn't right. obviously work there like Did they um even have that in names back then no, i'm just kidding <laughs> no, no i mean i don't i don't think I don't they really did like it's so well. much more associated with like war uh like military instead of war but military um good job and then and again you like i said like charger like i wanted like somebody out in front and, and it just none of it was really clicking until like captain hit and then i was like okay all right that that was at least feeling equal to champion yeah. So good, that good was job. that was really tough. So and I got really lucky. <laughs> yeah. Uh Mr. Matthew Hopkins, you can either send us signed cards of this bad boy, uh, or you can send me a, a a nice little art and I can try to make a proxy. I don't know. This one's a really cheap card. It might be better to just send it. Yeah, but just you, sign that you, and send it. Just sign it and send it. Uh it'll make our boards over here, my board there, Lowry's board's over there. Uh, I got to draw the name for next week. We are adding it. another uh, ante. We don't know which one it's going to be, so make sure you guys enter. Uh, it's going to be at least over a $10 card, so that we typically go higher and higher each 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 round we make it. So mm -hmm. the ante's getting a lot bigger. Let's see if we can make it to four cards. We've never done that before, so you got to go three more weeks, Lowry. Great. Thanks. That's no pressure. All right. Yeah. Uh, we have... Ken Da, was it Dom, Da Dahmer? Ken Dahmer, Dahmer, Dahmer. Thank you. Sorry. Dahmer, Dahmer, Dahmer. <laughs> so Dahmer. Ken, uh, you are the stumper for next week. If you win, you will get the two we mentioned earlier for the proxy, or not proxy, the proxy and the the surveil land, and we will let you guys know uh, what the next one will be uh, for next week. So. Uh, I think that'll do it for this week. That was a good episode here. Uh, make sure you guys, we are going to be doing the, the live stuff, uh, with the, um, 
uh, pre-cons. We will be doing the Is It Worth It later this week. So Thursday, check us out there. Probably the same time we start the podcast at 9 o'clock. So I'm still hungover. (laughs) All right, gang. That should do it for this week. We will catch you guys next week or Thursday. All right. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. Sega. Oh, am I on it? I love hey, boobs. Thanks, everybody, because there's a lot of people that were boobs. talking. So, I'm everybody, thank you guys for chatting I and all that boobs. fun stuff. Thanks for the memories. Cheers. I love boobs. Where's your cup? You didn't do your cup. I didn't I didn't wash it. I was oh, drinking gross. gin and beer from it all night. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> all right, outro. Hey gang, the best way to support the Commander Smiths is make sure you slap that like button. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our online store, commandersmiths.com, where we have metal tokens, mugs, t-shirts, playmats, and more.